We've got some uh, concrete floor going in. I'm oh, no. like a hammer thrower. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Very good. Thank you. Night. I'm framing a window. Preparing for the hemp process. Ah! So can you explain uh, yeah, why are you doing that? Because I was told to do it. Uh. <laughs> so here we are on site, and um, the guys from Garfield Construction have come in and brought the trusses, laying them down, construction on site, and then afterwards, on Monday, we bring the crane and place these trusses on this roof, on this top plate. That one's through, Dan. Yeah, we're good. This is the scissor truss yeah. going in. This one is going to be in the center of the building. And yeah, you got it, it. This is one of the main supports for the rib beam, which is going to go across. Yeah. Now square it up with the building and I'll flip it up. What you doing there, Mark? I'm tapping in some some nails to hold the hemp once we let these shelving take this shelving down. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shape this this square corner. We're gonna shape it to the same shape as below. Just to show you how we do that, we start off by obviously marking off, finding out where our circle starts, where our round corner starts, and then we're going to take this chunk off. We just do that quite simply by just. Having a great time. Yeah. It's a beautiful corner that you guys are making here. Thank you. Pink Kyra. Hey. All good? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't know if it's Kyra. She's undercover Kyra. <laughs> What's your sort of name? Hey Jim, how's it going man? It's good. Yeah. Good to be here. Getting your tampon? Good to be here. Tampon, tampon. Hey Mel, how's it going? Good. Yeah, spreading it out nice and evenly here. This is the way we do it. So you don't want to go more than about four inches um, when you are spreading. And these guys are doing it absolutely perfectly. Three guys set these up in less than a day. So it's good work. Working around these pipes, making sure that in these like in these gaps, you really got to get in there and make sure you get get the tamping done right. Because when you strip your forms, um, you want to just ensure that you have full compaction, and then leaving this, the center of the wall still quite nice and not as hard in the center so that we still get good insulation. 
inside of the building. And then we have more stuff on the outside. Daniel here. How's it going, Daniel? It's going well, man. Good. Having a good product today. Yes, we are. Daniel's one of our newest members and he's really rocking this show, man. He's learning this within a couple of weeks. He's picking it up quickly. Hey, Zach. Yeah? How are you doing? Yeah, good, mate. This guy's a okay. TV superstar here, man. <laughs> Been amping for two days and how are you, how are you feeling? Two days straight. Yeah, man, it's good. It's not current, but satisfying. Good, good to hear. Thank you. On this side we have our two skilled roofers, but Kevin from Kentucky, I think it's Kentucky, Tennessee, Tennessee. and up there we have Mr. Bunny, he's uh, freaking machining this thing, this is coming along quite nicely here, so, yeah. three boys ready to go, three boys, yeah, dude, we moving, cruising, got the measurement for that one, so when we are about to put new and fresh hemp onto um, existing hemp, so from the day before, what we do first is we get ourselves a hose and spray down the existing hemp with a fine, just like a fine mist spray to give some a little bit of moisture onto the existing hemp so that the two layers are able to bond better. All you do is that, and that's it. Going there, Jim, behind the bucket. <laughs> Pretty yeah. good. So we're at the, getting to the top. We're on the gable end of the house. Just to show you how we would finish this, we basically pack it to here, and then we've got to build ourselves, pretty much hand shape ourselves this round corner. And uh, you can see Mr. Maurizio here, busy. Hello. Hello to the world. Hello. Mama. Ciao, Mama. And then on this side, same thing. It's so basically encapsulating spray. So before we go up onto the roof, um, so we reach the, the trusses and then we're going to put forms in, in here and then this is all going to go up into this roof, onto these planks, right? All the way up, 12 inches, 12 inches thick up. Quick the bottom I had a guide, you know the wall, but here's like... What you doing there? It's <laughs> looking good, poor man. Good teamwork, man. We've got an amazing team here. We've got an amazing team. Ah, good spirits. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at this lovely looking um, solarium curve that was done yesterday by the Hempers. Here at Glen Raven, um, and then this wall was also just started yesterday morning. So yesterday afternoon, and there we are already. Um, the roof is coming along, the ceiling is coming, it's coming together quite well. You see, it's all converging in the center. And then uh, this wall finished up at the top there. Hey, Rohan. Hey. How's it going? It's happening. What are you doing there? I'm learning this ancient technique. Hemp. It's called hemp line. <laughs> nice. Enjoying it? You having fun? Yeah, I'm loving it. Well, then you're not working hard enough. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my arms are hurting and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm still loving it. Jim, how are you doing, man? Pretty good. This is a good day. This is Jim's wall, by the way, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's been having fun. There's Paul. Yo. 
He Working on Paul's solarium. Paul's getting his solarium. Aww. Looking very beautiful and professional. Dan the man, how are you doing? Fantastic, man. Oh, <laughs> guys are motivated and happy in this team. I love it. Thank you. Beautiful solarium that we're going to be hemping tomorrow. Yes! Hemping the solarium tomorrow. Yeah. And above the beam which is inside here we will hemp that complete the bridge the hemp bridge and that's what's happening tomorrow so looking forward Bruce coming together under here this um, tongue and groove I've pretty much like corked not corked it but I've filled the gap um, just to prevent or to completely stop any kind of airflow because from here we're gonna put our first 2x12 rafter along here and then build them up to give us our infilling this is our wall this is a hemp wall that's basically gonna turn into a hemp roof so that's the way it works and that's the way we're going to do it and um, this is a full hemp lime encapsulation on its way and i look forward to sharing more and yeah getting this done it's uh, it's been a grueling couple of weeks on the hemping and uh, we're getting there every day getting one step closer and it's fantastic and i look forward to seeing the end result Here. Take a view of uh, what, what Mr. Jim is doing here. Walk us through the process here, Jim. What's happening? Well, first you dump in the hemp, and then you tap it. This is the solarium where it meets the roof. I see you. I see here. You guys have incorporated two different shapes. So there's a circle on the outside and a pentagon. Actually, it's a one, two, three, four. There's a octagon, no? Is it eight? Pent uh, ten. One, two, three, four, what five. Oh, I'm like you guys are the cards. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what is a ten-sided shape? A decigrami. De deca deca gone. Deca gone. It's a ten ten-sided. Decagonal. Eh? Decagonal. Decagonal. This is a half a decagon, so it's a. Penta. Pentagram. Which way yeah. is it siding? Which way is the top Sem of the pentagram? Which way? Which direction? Sem you want to know. Is this sacred it's geometry, it's please? In between the X and the Z axis. Where's the X? Where's the Z? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask why? why? <laughs> yeah, man. It's very scientific on this um, primitive building site. <laughs> No one should be down there. Caution tape should be raised, but people keep tearing down my caution tape. I Don't tear like down it. the caution tape, Mark. Okay, uh, are we ready to him, gentlemen and ladies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got our first six buckets, man. Yeehaw. So this is doing the roof, um, they're in, so what happens is you just screed this off, screed it off and then give it a pack in once you're right, and it doesn't have to be compacted too much, nice light tamping, and then these furring strips here are to ensure that we have an air gap on top of or below our sheathing which is going on top of this for the earthquake resistance as you can see here it's very lightly tamped not much at all we leave a little gaps just under the just to make sure that it's not ever going to be touching the sheathing so always go just below your roof line and then you're good Mini 
house grand. A little mini shack, which is actually being sold. And then there's the view. Pacific Ocean over there. The range there. Mountain range there. Take a look inside. Inside of the house. Gutters have still got to go on. Walking into the mini house. Hemp mini house. Got the 200 year old oak trusses. Got these lime and sand walls which have been polished. This beautiful. Uh, Cycled steel, and then uh, there's the solarium, which was one of Paul's touches to this whole building. Um, and then we've got a bit of a truth window in in the solarium, and it's pointing north. And then this is a space. Technically not a kitchen, but uh, because it's a guest house, it's not allowed to have a kitchen, but it's, it's a place where we can, it's like a wet bar type area. Um, this is the bathroom. Orange, pink, purple, and blue. So guys, um, Thank you for coming to the workshop today and attending. Um, it's great. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here. Awesome, man. If you could just give us a, just a recap or something you learned or something you enjoyed about it. Uh, it was really interesting to learn the uh, history and the background of hemp lime and HES and how it all started. And, and to see how you get to use it. It was really great to work with it and to use our hands and to see how easy it is to work with. And it was a great experience. I will try to come back next week. Oh wow, thanks. What about you? Yeah. How about you, Amy? Man, this was so fun being able to build with all the, the hemp uh, the hemp herds and yeah. the lime. Yeah. Uh, we got to mix it together in this big machine and uh, we got to press it in the walls. So we actually ended up being able to press it in here and make it yeah. into a wall. Great job. So it was so fun. We yeah. had a really, really well, great time and learned so much. We really appreciate well, everything that you guys do. Thank you for your help and um, we look forward to working with you guys in the near future and um, hope that we can bring this to your town or somewhere like, yeah. We really hope you can. To Oregon, right? Uh, Southern yes. Oregon. Gotta come to and Southern around Oregon. the world. <laughs> and around the world. And this is what they did today, guys, by the way. So thanks to um, Finlay and Emily for that. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thanks.